Ever wondered how proteins are characterized in cells? Dive into the fascinating world of protein characterization. It's a crucial part of understanding how cells function and behave. Think of proteins as the gears and cogs in the intricate machinery of a cell. They come in an array of shapes and sizes, each with a specific role to play. But before we can comprehend their roles, we first need to identify and study their unique properties. This process, known as protein characterization, provides us with essential information about proteins. It helps us understand their structure, how they function, and how they interact within the cell. It's like deciphering the blueprint of a complex machine piece by piece. And the more we learn about each part, the clearer the larger picture becomes. But how do we go about characterizing these tiny microscopic entities? The answer lies in antibody-based approaches. So what exactly are antibody-based approaches? Good question. These are methods that harness the remarkable specificity of our immune system. You see, our immune system creates these proteins called antibodies, which have an extraordinary ability. They can bind to specific targets on proteins, which we call antigens. Think of them as keys designed to fit into very specific locks. Now imagine if we could use these microscopic keys to identify and study proteins. That's precisely what antibody-based approaches allow us to do. One of these techniques is Western blotting. It's a powerful method that separates proteins based on their size and then uses antibodies to detect the presence of specific proteins. It's like a microscopic Where's Waldo, but for proteins. Then we have immunohistochemistry. This technique uses antibodies to detect specific proteins in cells or tissues. It's like giving each protein a unique tag that we can see under a microscope. Finally, there's the enzyme-linked immunosorbent assay, or ELISA for short. ELISA uses antibodies to measure the amount of a specific protein in a sample. Like a microscopic measuring cup, it helps us quantify proteins with precision. These techniques, while complex, have revolutionized our ability to study proteins, leading to countless breakthroughs in biology and medicine. So next time you hear about a new medical discovery, remember, chances are, antibodies had something to do with it. In a nutshell, antibody-based approaches have transformed protein characterization. These techniques leverage the unique specificity of antibodies to identify and examine proteins. Key methodologies such as Western blotting, immunohistochemistry, and ELISA have played pivotal roles in broadening our comprehension of the cellular world. So the next time you hear about a breakthrough in biology or medicine, remember, it might just have been made possible thanks to these remarkable approaches to protein characterization.